Hello everyone, nice to see you. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Roll, roll, roll the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. I hear thunder, I hear thunder, hark don't you, hark don't you, pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, I'm wet through, I'm wet through. Good morning everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing you all this morning. I hope I'm coming in. Could you give me a thumbs up or something if you can hear me okay? Um, I'm using a mic for the first time today, so I'm hoping I'm not blowing your eardrums out. But it's great to be here at, uh, from my own house, at the Storytelling Center too. How lovely to be with you. And greetings from Wigtown, Scotland's national book town. Now today, we're gonna do all kinds of stories that have some kind of food in them. And I'm gonna start with this old folk song that everybody loves, or most everybody, and I'm often asked for it. And it's about an old woman, and I'm still trying to figure out why she would do this. It's a philosophical question. It's an old woman who swallows a fly, and we never seem to find out why. There was an old woman who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Hmm. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old woman who swallowed a spider. Can you wriggle and jiggle? It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside. Oh! She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. <laughs> Perhaps she'll die. There was an old woman who swallowed a bird. Let me hear you go tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. How absurd. She swallowed a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. Everybody wriggle. That wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside. Ah! She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old woman who swallowed a cat. Oh, now you have to be on the catwalk and you gotta go, meow. Can you do that? She swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. Tweet, tweet. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. That wriggled and jiggled. And tickled inside. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old woman who swallowed a dog. Let me hear you howl. Howl! What a hog! She swallowed a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. Meow! She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. Tweet, tweet! She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. That wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Zoop! I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. 
There was an old woman who swallowed a goat. Got stuck in her throat. She swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. They wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old woman who swallowed a cow. How? Oh, how would you swallow a cow? She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. <laughs> she swallowed the goat to catch the dog. Howl! She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. Meow! She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. Tweet, tweet! She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and jiggled inside. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Bzzz, I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Oh, does everybody have a hanky? Everybody's going to need a hanky for this part. It does not have a happy ending. There was an old woman who swallowed a horse. She's dead. <laughs> Of course. She swallowed the horse to catch the goat. She swallowed the go cow to she swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. The wriggled and juggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. And we'll never know why. Oh, I can assure you, no animals or elderly women were harmed in the production of this song. How are you all this morning? Well, I'm getting ready to have a little tuck shop tea here. So we're going to make a peanut butter and a jelly sandwich. So for this, you've got to go peanut peanut butter, and then jazz hand, jelly. Can you do that? Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. First you take the peanuts and you crunch them, crunch them. First you take the peanuts and you crunch them, crunch them, crunch them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, Jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them, squish them. Then you take the grapes and you squish them, squish them, squish them. Peanut, a oh, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the bread and you slice it, slice it. Then you take the bread and you slice it, slice it, slice it. Peanut, a oh, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it, spread it. Then you take the bread and you spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the sandy and you smush it, smush it. Then you take your sandy and you smush it, smush it, smush it. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take your sandy and you eat it, eat it. Then you take your sandy, you eat it, eat it, eat it. Mm-mm, jelly. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, jelly. Hello, nice to see you all this morning. Do give us a thumbs up just to let us know that you're here. Leave a comment. Where have you all come from? Now, one question I'm always asked is, where do I come from? Well, I am actually American-born and Scottish by bond. So I have lived in Scotland for 35 years now, but I was born in a little tiny town in Wisconsin. 
in America. It's very nice to have you here this morning. Greetings and welcome. So this story I am going to need your help with because we have three little pigs in this story and they're going to make a special dish. Hmm. So let's uh, do this together. So the first thing you have to do is <clears throat> hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee. Ooh, ain't that funky now? Ooh, ain't that funky now? So you try that with me. So I sing, and then you you follow. So hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee. Ooh. Ain't that funky now? Ooh, 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 ain't that funky now? And the other thing we're going to be doing in this story is we're going to build a house. Can you help me build a house? Building a house. Start with the floor. Two wee windows and one big door. Putting a roof right on top. And don't forget the chimney pot. Okay, are you ready? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs and they lived at home with their mother. Now one day their mother said, little pigs, it's about time you went and made your own way in the world. And so off they went and as they went along, they sang a song. Hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee. Ooh, ain't that funky now? Ooh, ain't that funky now? The first little pig saw somebody doing this. Can you do it too? You can go. Oh, said the little pig. Please, can I have some straw? to build my house. Surely you can, said the person. And so the little pig built his house. Are you ready? He building the house, start with the floor, two wee windows and one big door. Putting a roof right on top and don't forget the chimney pot. Well, the little pig was so excited. He opened the door of his house and he went into his house. He shut the door. He sat in a cushy beanbag chair and he read his favorite book. Meanwhile, the two other little pigs kept walking along and they sang their song. Hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee ooh, ain't that funky now, ooh, ain't that funky now. And the second little pig saw somebody doing this, you can do it too. Chip a chip a chop, chip a chip a chop, chip a chip a chop, chip a chip a chop. Oh, excuse me, said the second little pig. Can I have some sticks to build my house? Surely you can, said the person. And so the second little pig built a house. Are you ready? A building house. Start with the floor, two wee windows, and one big door. Putting a roof right on top and don't forget the chimney pot. Oh, the second little pig was so excited. He opened the door of the house. He went inside, he shut the door and he sat in his recliner. Oh yeah. And played his favorite game. Meanwhile, the third little pig went along and sang their song. Are you ready? Hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee. Ooh, ain't that funky now? Ooh, ain't that funky now? And he saw somebody doing this. Can you do this? Sloop, 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 sloop. Oh, said the third little pig. Please. Can I have some bricks to build my house? Surely you can. And so the third little pig built a house out of the bricks. 
building house. Start with the floor. Two wee windows, one big door. Putting a roof right on top. Don't forget the chimney pot. Oh, the third little pig opened the door of the house and shut the door of the house and sat in a cozy rocking chair by a fire. And he was reading a book too. The book was called Harry Hikers. How to make wolf stew because there was a gnarly, hungry old wolf following those three funky little pigs. Hum de dum, hum hum de dum de dum de hum de dum, hum hum de dum de dum de ooh, ain't that funky now? Ooh, ain't that funky now? And he knocked on the door of the first little pig's house. <coughs> little pig, little pig, or oh, let me come in. Ooh, ooh, said the little pig. Not by the hair of my chin, chin. I'm gonna huff. Oh yeah, I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow your house in. So the big wolf, he huffed. And he puffed, and he blew the house in with a clatter and a crash. Can you crash with me? Crash! And the first little pig ran squealing to the second little pig's house. <coughs> oh, bother, said the wolf. Hum dee dum, hum hum dee dum dee dum dee hum dee dum. Hum, hum, dee, dum, dee, dum, dee. Ooh, ain't that funky now. Ooh, ain't that funky now. And he knocked on the door of the second little pig's house. And he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Ooh, said the little pigs. Ooh, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Oh, I'm going to huff. I'm going to puff. And I'm going to blow your house in. And so he huffed. And he puffed, and he blew, <laughs> and down came the house of sticks with a clatter and a crash, clatter, crash. And those two little pigs ran squealing to the third little pig's house. Ah! Oh, bother, said the wolf. Hum, dee dum, hum, hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum. Dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee. Ooh, ain't that funky now? Ooh, ain't that funky now? And he knocked on the door of the third little pig's house. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. And the three little pigs said, I'm gonna huff and puff, and I'm gonna blow this house in. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew. <laughs> he couldn't blow that house in. So he climbed up the side of the chimney to the chimney pot on top. And he fell down, down, down into the big pot of water in the fire. And the little pigs had added a potato, a carrot, mushrooms, and smelly socks. And that night, they invited their mother along to their new house. And they all had wolf stew for their tea. Hum. Dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee hum, dee dum, hum hum, dee dum, dee dum, dee. Ooh, ain't that funky now? 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 You're so funky now. Thank you for helping me with 
that story. Did you enjoy it? What's your favorite folk tale or fable? You can put it down in the comments below. Every Friday night on my YouTube channel, Tell Together Tales, I might put it in the link in below at the, at the end, you can come along and have a folk tale. Five minute folk tale on Tell Together Tales. And I'd like to know what are your favorite folk tales and fables? Then I can maybe put them on my channel for you to watch anytime you like. Next story. Our next story is about a farmer's wife. Now this farmer's wife is really, really busy. And she has a baby. Can you put your baby up? And the baby is crying. And the farmer's wife is really trying to shush the baby. There, there. So she put the baby in the cradle. And she rocked the cradle with her foot. Can you rock the cradle with your foot? Like this. Rock the cradle with the foot. Finally, the baby was asleep. And the farmer's wife couldn't make her jam. So she got out a big pot and she put the fruit in and the sugar in, all the things that she needed to make jam. And she stirred the pot. Can you stir the pot? And she rocked the cradle and she stirred the pot. And she couldn't stop so that the jam would not get burnt to the bottom. Rock the cradle and stirred the pot. Meanwhile, her friend, Mrs. Chatterbox, decided to come to visit. So Mrs. Chatterbox opened the door. Can you open the door? Stir the pot and rock the cradle. The door was open and Mrs. Chatterbox began to chat. Chat! And the door was squeaking open in the wind and the farmer's wife was stirring the jam and rocking the cradle. And because the door was swinging open, in came the chickens. So Mrs. Chatterbox was chatting. The door was swinging. The jam was getting stirred. The cradle was getting rocked. And now Mrs. Farmer was also trying to shoo out the chickens. Well, this went on for a very long time. Then finally, the chickens left. Mrs. Chatterbox stopped chatting and left. She shut the door behind her. The jam was ready. The baby was quiet. And the farmer's wife could have some jam for her tea. I wonder what kind of tea would you have with jam? What would you put your jam on? You could put some comments below if you like. Hmm, I like jam on pancakes. Oh yes! And you could have jam on oh, something I really love. Scones. What else could you have? Scones? You could have pan, you could have jam on bread. You could have jam all by itself on a spoon. You could have it with peanut butter. You could have different kinds of jam. What is your favorite kind of jam? Blueberry, raspberry, gooseberry. Oh, you're making me hungry. That was a very tasty story. Thank you for helping me shush the baby and shoo the chickens and stir the jam and shut the door. And you were all very kind listeners, Thomas's Chatterbox. So I think we have time for maybe one more story. This story is called, oh, it has three silly billy goats. Are you ready? And in this story, we have a song as well. And it goes, Olia, Olia, Kukia, Olia, Kuku, Kuku. And then you've got to go, Mah. let me hear you, Mah. Mah. Olia, kookia, olia, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. 
Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, oh. Once upon a time, there were three silly billy goats, and they loved nothing better than to munch the lovely green grass in the valley. But they always did wonder what the grass was like on the other side of the river. Now, one day, they were walking along and they noticed a bridge. They did not know that under that bridge there lived an old drubbel trubbel. And he loved nothing better than to munch on silly billy goats. Well, itty bitty goat gruff stood on the bridge and walked along and sang a song. Are you ready? Olia, olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, oh, went up, jumped the old droll to roll. And he said, who dares, who dares? Who dares mess with the big bad troll? He said, who dares? Who dares? Who dares to mess with the big bad troll? Oh no, not all. I said, itty bitty goat gruff, you don't want my, me. You want my brother, he's bigger than me. He will make a better tea. I just want some fresh green grass. Oh please, Mr. Troll, do let me pass. Oh, piffle, said the troll. And he went back down under the bridge and Itty Bitty Goat Gruff went across the river. Meanwhile, Mitty Bitty Goat Gruff stood on the bridge and sang a song. Are you ready? Olia, olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, oh. Went up, champed the old drawl a drawl, and he said, "Who dares? Who dares? Who dares to mess with the big bad troll?" He said, "Who dares? Who dares? Do you dare to mess with the big bad troll?" "Oh no, not I," said Mitty Bitty Goat Gruff. "You don't want me. You want my brother. He's bigger than me." I just want some fresh green grass. Oh, please, Mr. Troll, do let me pass. Oh, Puffle, said the troll, and he let Mitty Bitty Goat Gruff go over the bridge to the grass, and he went down under the bridge again. Meanwhile, Nitty Gritty Goat Gruff stepped onto the bridge and sang his song. Oh, yeah. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, oh, went up, jumped the old droll troll. And he said, Who dares? Who dares? Who dares to mess with the big bad troll? He said, Who dares? Who dares? Do you dare to mess with the big bad troll? Oh, yes, said the big bitty. It, yes, said the nitty gritty goat gruff. I am going to mess with you because you've been messing with my brothers. And he put down his horns and one, two, three. He bashed into that troll and sent him down the river. Oh, bother, splash. And the droll troll was never seen again. Meanwhile, those three silly billy goats lived munchily ever after. Olia, olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia kuku kuku. Olia kukia, olia You've been watching Renita Boyle Talk Shop Tales at the Scottish Storytelling Center. Via Wigtown, of course. It's been lovely to have you here. Do let them know what you thought and see you next time. <laughs>